What is the proper way to sign a letter on behalf of someone else? Hello everyone. Welcome to today's video where we will be discussing the proper way to sign a letter on behalf of someone else. Whether you are assisting a colleague, a family member, or a client, it's important to follow certain guidelines to ensure that the letter is legally binding and represents the person you are signing for accurately. So, let's dive in. Obtaining Authorization Before signing a letter on behalf of someone else, it is crucial to obtain written authorization from the individual granting you permission to sign on their behalf. This can be in the form of a signed letter or an email explicitly stating that they authorize you to sign documents on their behalf. This authorization serves as proof that you have the legal authority to act on their behalf. Indicating your authority When signing a letter on behalf of someone else, it's essential to clearly indicate your authority to do so. You should include your full name and your position or relationship to the person you are signing for. This helps establish that you are acting as their representative and not in your personal capacity. For instance, if you are signing on behalf of a company, you would include your name and title, such as, John Smith, Vice President of XYZ Corporation. Signatures and Identifiers In addition to indicating your authority, it is crucial to include the original signer's name in the letter. Beneath your signature, include a line stating, by, your name, or, on behalf of, original signer's name. This clarifies that you are signing the letter as a representative and not as the original signer. Additionally, consider including your contact information, such as your email address or phone number, to facilitate further communication if needed. Examples of proper signatures Let's look at a few examples of how to properly sign a letter on behalf of someone else. Example 1. Original signer's full name, original signer's position or relationship, your full name, your position or relationship. Example 2. Sincerely, your full name, your position or relationship, on behalf of original signer's full name. Remember, adapt the examples according to the specific context and your relationship with the person you are signing for. Notarization and Legal Advice in some situations, it may be necessary to have the letter notarized to ensure its authenticity and legal validity. Notarization involves a third-party notary public verifying the identity of the person signing and confirming that the signature is genuine. If you are unsure whether notarization is required, it's best to consult with a legal professional who can provide guidance based on the specific circumstances and jurisdiction. And there you have it the proper way to sign a letter on behalf of someone else. Remember to obtain written authorization, clearly indicate your authority, include the original signer's name, and provide your contact information if necessary. If in doubt, always consult with legal professionals to ensure you are following the correct procedures. Thank you for watching, and I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Have a great day!